What are the expectations for the 2023 Arizona Cardinals? Now, Cardinal fans have gone through the ringer this year, whether it was the whole DeAndre Hopkins drama and then release, or what about the Buda Baker requesting a trade away from the Cardinals, or the Cardinals losing draft capital because of a GM rookie mistake. But one thing that we do know is that this team will be going through a lot of changes this year. Let's dive right into it. going on everybody welcome back into another video here of the arizona sports fan definitely do me a huge favor smack the like button and subscribe for more arizona cardinals content on the road to 12k ladies and gentlemen can't do it without you guys so definitely subscribe it up also follow me on all my social platforms everything will be in the description in the video below all right everybody let's get started here let's dive right into what are the expectations for the 2023 arizona cardinals now one thing that we do know is that the whole deonder hopkins drama has been settled all we know right now is that he's going to be landing in one of these two spots, either going to be the Patriots or the Titans. Now, we did predict that on this channel quite some time ago, and he did go out to his Twitter and say this, whoever's in my future wide receiving group, I promise I will make your job easy. Okay, I mean best in his endeavors and I hope nothing but the best for DeAndre Hopkins is very unfortunate that he didn't work out here with the Cardinals, but no longer a Cardinal. Go on your merry way. Now, Buda Baker, on the other hand, it seems like it might be squashed, but I don't know. I feel like something deep down inside me doesn't feel like it's quite 100% over until we get that announcement that this man is going to get an extension or get that payday that he wants to get. Now, as of right now, we did hear that Buda Baker has showed up into the building for, you know, mandatory OTAs, and I think that has to do more with him not losing out on money because of obviously contract situations. So he's in the building is what we know right now, but I don't think we're completely clear under the water as of right now, but hopefully trending in the right direction for Buda Baker. Now, the 2023 Arizona Cardinals, what is it going to look like, right? I think it, this is the a very, very weird year for Cardinal fans because we got some Cardinal fans that are not very... What's the word? Excited about this year? We got some Cardinal fans that, that are excited about this year, right? Now, I don't think the expectations are very, very high amongst the consensus of a lot of Cardinal fans. If you put a poll group together here and, and try to get the gauge of how Cardinal fans feel about 2023, I don't think most people are thinking that the Cardinals are going to be winning the Super Bowl, right? Now, as of right now, we still do not know the, the health status or when Kyler Murray is coming back. All we really know is what reports we we knew of before right and that was that Kylo Murray is set to come back sometime in October whether it's the beginning the middle or the end we don't 100% know when Kylo Murray will be coming back but one thing that we do know is that Jonathan Gannon has made it apparent that obviously they are kind of you know watching it and, and trying to see if he is able to come back sooner rather than later but what we do know is that he said that there's going to be a, a, a what is it a long road ahead of him so as of right now TBD we don't know what the future of Kyler Murray is going to be if he's going to start for us if he's going to come back later on is he going to be the future of the Arizona Cardinals in the 2024 season so a lot of unknown heading into this season now another kind of you know I guess exciting things that you know coming our ways that we got some positional moves from two players two young players um, and that's Isaiah Simmons. He spent a lot of his time here within the weak inside linebacking spot. And it seems like this new regime is coming out here and saying, no, you are going to be, you know, playing with the DBs, right? And I think he's been spending a lot of his time with the defensive back. So that's kind of exciting to, to kind of see that positional change. One thing that I know a lot of Cardinal fans have wanted is for us to move him over to safety next to Buda Baker, but it's kind of really hard to move off of Jalen Thompson and Buda Baker. We love that duo, but the idea of moved over to DBs, it, it, it's, it's kind of exciting, right? We got a very, very tall, athletic uh, guy that can run back and forth. So, you know, there's some excitement there coming out from Arizona Cardinal fans that seeing him with a new position group maybe might be that that awakening that he needs to kind of revive his career within the NFL. Now, another player that we want to talk about is Zayvon Collins. He spent his time in the middle linebacker, preferably in the Mike linebacking spot. They're saying that he's going to be moved over to outside linebacker, right? Playing off the edge. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Um, I'm, I'm curious to figure out how that transition is going to be and who's going to be our primary 
edge rushers, you know, heading into this 2023 season for the Arizona Cardinals. So as of right now, we got some positional moves. We got a lot of unknowns. We got a lot of, you know, promising rookies coming our way. Now, I, I think I've been kind of I'm not going to say foolish to to kind of say out here and say, you know, oh, this guy's going to be a, a a big, you know, change maker for the Cardinals, right? Um, as of right now, I, I think I'm going to keep this to where the rookies that we have coming in here, here, we have a lot of potential. We have a lot of potential. As long as they work out for the Cardinals, I'm not going to sit here and say all oh, these rookies are going to work out because that's the probability of that happens is not very, very likely. But we got some promising young rookies coming our way, whether it's Paris Johnson Jr., which I believe he's going to spend his time in the right tackle spot. And I know there's going to be people running to the comments, right? What about Calvin Beecham? This is the opportunity for the Cardinals to really go after or, or, or really make Make a change, right? Really make a change and go the young route. And honestly, Paris Johnson Jr., having him start in the right tackle would probably be the best spot for him, in my opinion. If they choose guard, okay, that's fine, right? But I think DJ Humphreys is a lock at left tackle as of right now. Um, and I think that's going to be, you know, my ideal spot for Paris Johnson Jr. Now, a couple people to kind of really look out for as well. BJ Ojolari, I hope he gets an opportunity as well. But we got a lot of young edge rushers, especially coming out of the 2022 season. So I want to kind of see them progress and see them get a bulk of the opportunities. But that kind of leaves BJ Ojolari to, you know, be that out man out. So excited to see what his progression is going to be. And if he's going to be a starter, you know, excited about that. We also got Garrett Williams. It seems like he's progressing very, very well and maybe becoming our second corner back or heck maybe even our cornerback one uh we'll have to kind of wait and see how that transpires but a lot of people are very excited about michael wilson wide receiver out of stanford big wide receiver uh for the cardinals and you know a target to kind of throw the ball up there and get that 50 50 ball and i think that's one thing that a lot of cardinal fans are very excited about for michael wilson um and and i'm excited about it too right because if you look at our wide receiving core the moment we we lost uh, DeAndre Hopkins. There's a lot of unknown. There's a lot of scarcity. There's a lot of who's going to be that big bo bodied wide receiver, right? Um, and I think Michael Wilson, if he gets the opportunity, can definitely shock some people. And I'm not saying Pro Bowl, but I mean, if we can get 400, 500 plus yards, 600 plus yards from this rookie wide receiver, that would be absolutely great. Now, obviously, Jonathan, uh, John Gaines out of uh, UCLA, don't really know how he's going to fit in the offensive line as of right now. Clayton Toon is a player that I've been very, very excited about before you know people have been talking about Clayton Toon I was mocking him to the Arizona Cardinals for quite some time because I wanted that prototypical quarterback to kind of get us something to to look forward to in preseason right that will get fans very, very excited. Let me tell you right now, there's a card, there's a Cardinal person out there watching. You want to get people excited about preseason. You allow Clayton Tune to actually have a competitive, you know, opportunity to win that number two role. We know what we have, right? In in Colt McCoy, right? He's a good quarterback, but we're looking into the future at this very moment. Um, you know, we also got Jeff Driscoll and we also got David Blau. I don't think they're the answers. I really, truly want Clayton Tune to get an opportunity and kind of blossom and to see what he can actually become. We got some other young promising prospects coming in in the later parts of the draft as well. So excited to see how the Cardinals are going to be able to maneuver this whole new regime. But this is the opportunity right here, right? I don't want to be the one to admit that the Cardinals aren't going to be playoff bound, winning the division bound. But this is the opportunity for the Cardinals to really kind of change the culture and, and go a young route, right? The Cardinals have always been plagued with the idea of veterans are always going to be the people that have the, the upper hand always we've always been like that now now that the new regime has come in here and I don't think we expect too much of Jonathan Gannon JG right we don't expect too much of him as long as we don't have a two win season I think Cardinal fans will be you know, excited. Um, I, I think we're going to be more excited if we start seeing progression towards the later part of the season, right? If we start off 0-5, but we win three out of the last five games or, or three out of the, the four out of the next six, as long as we see progression at the end part of the season, I think there gives us a little bit of excitement heading into the 2024 season for the Cardinals and the fan base. So as of right now, expectations aren't that much I'm not as excited um for like a, a promising run but I'm excited about what this future is going to be for the Cardinals moving forward because we are going a young direction because we are going a completely different route this is an opportunity for the Cardinals to do something 
different. And why not with, with Jonathan Gannon and, and Monty Olsen for, and as well as the other, you know, young, young uh, offensive coordinator, as well as the defensive coordinator. We got so many people being first time everything's right. First time GM, first time head coach, first time defensive coordinator, first time offensive coordinator. The Cardinals are doing things completely different. Now, would I have gone this route with releasing DeAndre Hopkins? No, I wouldn't have personally, but I think DeAndre Hopkins was the one that actually wanted to leave this Cardinal organization because A, Kyler Murray, we don't know exactly when he's coming back, and B, the Cardinals are in no shape or form to win a ring this year, and I think he wants to go to a team that's at least competitive. So as of right now, ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts and expectations for the 2023 Arizona Cardinals? Are there any rookies that you are really excited about? Let me know in the comments below. How do you feel about the positional changes from Isaiah Simmons and Zayvon Collins? Let me know in the comments. Appreciate you guys for tuning in as always. Have a great rest of your day and go Cards.